الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا 
قلت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله فنحمده سبحانه وتعالى الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه اللهم لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك ولعظيم سلطانك لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله وبيدك الخير كله على نيته وسره فأهل أنت أن تحمد وأهل أنت أن تعبد وأنت على كل شيء قدير Respected brothers and sisters Let me first and foremost congratulate you for completing the fasting in the month of Ramadan We could not have done it without the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, let all praise and glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for such great blessing. Today is our day of celebrating Eid al-Fitr to mark the end of the blessed month of Ramadan. We mark this day by remembering and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a lot of dhikrs, with a lot of takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. We keep repeating, Allah is the greatest, Allah is indeed the greatest, Allah is indeed the greatest. No one has the right to be worshipped, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatest, the most merciful, the most gracious. This is a day of delight. This is a day of a delight, another great opportunity to glorify and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he mentioned in the Quran, وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ What Allah wants you is for you to complete the fast, the period of fasting, and to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what? For having guided you so that you be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, it is a day of takbir. Yes, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we thank him for having guided us throughout the month of Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd. Respected brothers and sisters, Eid khutbah has its message. And my first message for this Eid the entire world has witnessed over billions of Muslims for 30 days around the world engaging into the worship of the creator of this universe. Men, women, young and old, for 30 days the entire world has witnessed this. 
for 30 days collectively we fasted together, we pray, we're breaking the fast together. For 30 days collectively we've been engaging into various acts of worship, more tarawih, more sadaqat, all together. For 30 days collectively we've been engaging into charity, into recitation of the Quran, into dhikr, into various acts of ibadah. For 30 days collectively we've been responding to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he said ya ayyuhalladhina amanu o you who believe kutiba alaykum as-siyam for 30 days brothers and sisters the world has observing muslims more prayerful more peaceful more with good conduct more charitable more generous not engaging into evil acts and more tolerant, and most importantly, law-abiding citizens. We have completed Ramadan, but now the challenge. So what image will you show to the world after Ramadan? The same image or completely different persons? Every one of us here must watch and assess him or herself after Ramadan. Either you keep the, alive the spirit a lesson we learned in Ramadan, or you destroy the wonderful spiritual growth we acquire in Ramadan. If you are diverted by your busy job, if you are diverted by your family commitment, Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَٰلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ Whoever does that, whoever is letting himself be diverted after Ramadan from that trajectory toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that indeed is the loser. Allahu Akbar. May Allah protect us from being among the losers. And do you know this, uh, this ayah is in what surah in the Quran? Is in Surah Al Munafiqun. Surah Al Munafiqun, chapter 63, verse 9. Don't do and undo afterward. Don't build and destroy. Don't build your Iman in Ramadan and destroy it after Ramadan. Don't build your Taqwa in Ramadan and destroy it after Ramadan. And the whole world is watching us whether, what we, whether we have been obeying Ramadan or we have been obeying the Lord of Ramadan. We therefore, brothers and sisters, must keep the momentum going, maintaining the pace of our Taqwa again in Ramadan. And only in this way that we will show to the world the real life model of what it means to be a Muslim. And as such, we will impact positively the environment around us, particularly the non-Muslim audience of our neighbors, our friends and colleagues around us. Respected brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, we have been enjoying countless of ni'mah and blessings in Ramadan. So while we are celebrating Eid today, we must remember those who were with us last year, those who were with us the years before, and those who were with us this year, but Allah did not allow them to be with us today. May Allah have mercy upon them. May Allah forgive their sins and turn their graves into gardens of paradise. Moreover, during this Eid celebration, let not forget how differently Eid is being celebrated right now in different places of the world, in places of conflict such as Yemen, in places of conflict such as Palestine, even in places of conflict such as Ukraine. Let us not forget places of poverty such as Afghanistan and many parts of African countries. Let us pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us pray to Allah that in his gracious mercy grant them relief and shower his blessings upon them. My last Eid message, respected brothers and sisters, Father, to the first message of Eid, of staying steadfast after Ramadan. It is important to remember that one of the characteristics of Ramadan is the abundance of lectures and talks and conferences and Jum'ah khutbah in Ramadan for the purpose of uplifting our taqwa, for the purpose of strengthening our Iman. Islam is a practical religion. Always connect the Iman, faith, with the righteous deed because the mission for every muslim in migrated here is to continue to embody those islamic values 
practically in our life, then after we will go achieve and fulfill the other command of Allah, which is ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawidati al hasana wa jadilhum billati hiya ahsan. Call, invite your friends, your colleagues, and others to the to the way of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Invite them to the way of Allah, your Lord with wisdom and kind of advice. Debate with them in the best manner. After Ramadan, do not take away from us the blessing of fasting, the blessing of prayer, the blessing of standing for hours hours in prayer, the blessing of donating peace amilik, the blessing of controlling our tongues, the blessing of learning your book, Al-Quran. Oh Allah, we beg you to keep alive all these blessings we were able to do in Ramadan so that we continue to perform them after Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd.